three NBA championships, 11 Hall of Famers. You know, it was great to see uh, a lot of great superstars really put their egos aside and bring it all together. Man. The appreciation for who Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, you know, Clyde Drexler. It's a watershed moment in the history of sports, not just, not just the Olympics, not just basketball. Um, it, it, it moved the culture along. The NBA is the world's premier basketball league and the United States is widely regarded as the home of basketball. However, as of late, it's no secret that they have been struggling in international tournaments, most recently in the 2023 and 2019 FIBA World Cups, where Team USA finished fourth and seventh place. As a result, NBA stars like LeBron James and Steph Curry are looking for a redemption campaign in the 2024 Olympics to reclaim the world champion's title. Anyways, despite the recent struggles, there's no doubt that with a full lineup of top tier American NBA superstars, Team USA would be hard to stop. But what does the best Team USA team of all time look like? To answer that, let's take things back to 1992, when a dream turned into real life. Welcome to Sportsphere, let's get into it. In 1989, FIBA voted to change the rule and allow NBA players to participate on the international stage, and the vote was 56 to 13 in favor of the change. However, it wasn't until the 1992 Olympics did Team USA send their NBA players to play internationally. When this was announced, an early 1991 Sports Illustrated labeled the upcoming American roster as the Dream Team signaling that the United States would be showcasing their best basketball lineup for the first time. But it wasn't just the debut of American players playing internationally. It would be the first time many other countries would bring their NBA talent too. But when you look at the Team USA roster, this team was unlike any team you had ever seen. Before we get into who was on the team, ex-Detroit Bad Boys head coach Chuck Daly was named coach of the international team. As for the team, it featured almost every single American superstar at the time. However, notably, Isaiah Thomas was left off the team due to personal issues with Michael Jordan. All five members of the 1992 All-NBA First Team were named to the team, and multiple members of the second and third team. Where only Magic Johnson and Larry Bird were not named on an All-NBA team, due to them being in their later years. Regardless, the lineup saw Magic Johnson and John Stockton run the show as point guards, and at the two, they had none other than Michael Jordan, alongside Clyde Drexler and Chris Mullen. Larry Bird and Scottie Pippen held down the small forward positions, while Charles Barkley brought his trademark intensity to power forward with Christian Leitner coming off the bench. In the center position, they had Carl Malone, Patrick Ewing, and David Robinson a trio of giants who could dominate both ends of the court. This was a squad that had everything you could ask for in a basketball team, and the events that followed would leave an imprint on international basketball forever. And prior to the tournament even beginning, there was not a single doubt in the minds of NBA fans that this would be total domination. There were 12 countries participating in the tournament, and they were allocated into two groups of six, Group A and Group B where group members would face every other member in their group once, before the top four team of each group advanced to the knockout stages. Understandably, the expectations of Team USA by supporters were sky high, and nothing short of dominance was expected. What may well be the best basketball team ever assembled, and here they are, moments away from their international debut. Their first game against Angola was more of a showcase than a competition, ending it with a ridiculous 116-48 scoreline, where Charles Barkley led scorers with 24 points while Carl Malone had 19 points. Although the result was expected, the sheer spectacle of watching NBA legends take on teams made up of largely unknown players, it was like witnessing a dream team come to life. While some were excited, there were mixed feelings among people of other countries. After the Angola game, there were worries about America's image globally, especially after Jordan made a post-game comment, 
claiming that it wasn't fair and they were dominating everyone. And as Team USA continued their ascent, some people began viewing America more as bullies than competitors. Despite the easy victory against Angola, the same couldn't exactly be said about their next opponent, Croatia. Croatia had two NBA players on their roster, Petrovic and Vrankovic, and this was expected to be a much more competitive game. And despite some back and forth throughout the game, Team USA would again dominate the game late and win 103 to 70. It was clear that despite Croatia having some NBA talent, the Team USA team was way too good and it wasn't even close. The momentum continued as they faced the likes of Germany, Brazil, and Spain in the remaining group stage matches. These games were more of the same, with Team USA dismantling their opponents with an average margin of victory of 42 points, with Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan dominating scoring night in and night out. This team was unselfish, had extreme basketball IQ, and their physical dominance was imposed on oppositions every single game. And in many ways, these games seemed unfair in every regard. Anyways, after going 5-0 in the group stages, in the first round of the knockout stages, Team USA would go up against a Puerto Rico team, who had no NBA players at the time. As expected, USA would dominate, before winning 115-77, with Chris Mullen leading scorers with 21 points. In the semifinals, Team USA would face Lithuania, also with zero NBA players. And the same treatment would take place before the game finished 127 to 76. MJ led scoring with 21 points and Karl Malone was second with 18 points. And in the finals, Team USA would face none other than Croatia, who proved to be the clear second best team in the competition. The game started quite competitively and by halftime, despite the United States scoring 56 points, the 42 points from Croatia was respectable. That being said, the second half was a different story, and the final score ended up 117 to 85, with Michael Jordan leading USA scoring with 22 points and Charles Barkley with 17. Despite 24 points from Petrovic, the game wasn't even competitive past halftime. And that was it. In the first Olympic Games with NBA players being allowed on international teams, Team USA would destroy every single team in their way in epic fashion. The 1992 Team USA Basketball Dream Team left an indelible mark on the sport. Made up of 11 NBA Hall of Famers, including Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and many more, this team redefined international basketball for the world. The Nysmith Hall of Fame calls the team the greatest collection of basketball talent on the planet, inducting the entire team and its coaching staff into the Hall of Fame. Pretty good way to go out, winning a gold medal and playing with, well, I can't say the best team ever assembled, but one of the best teams ever assembled. Um. <laughs> There's no doubt that this team was one of its kind, where a dream turned to reality in front of our eyes, and the result spoke for itself, absolute dominance. Not only did the Dream Team go undefeated, but won every game by an average of 44 points, an achievement incomparable to any other international basketball team in history. Beyond the crushing victories, they showcased the beauty and excitement of basketball, captivating global audiences and inspiring a new generation of players worldwide, and bringing a new eye on the NBA as a result. This helped pave the way for an influx of international talent into the NBA, transforming it into a much more multicultural league, with Dirk Nowitzki, Marcus Gasol, and Tony Parker being prominent international names inspired by the 1992 Dream Team when they were just teenagers, and they later became NBA greats. While the 2008 Redeem Team 16 years later was legendary, with Kobe, LeBron, and Carmelo, the sheer dominance of the 1992 Dream Team cements it as the greatest Team USA basketball squad ever. And looking into the future, expecting any team to match their dominance would most likely lead to disappointment. <laughs>